So let's solve this problem in Java that uh, whatever we discovered in our last video. Uh, yeah, this algorithm that we have discovered in our last video. So let's implement the same in Java. So I am on my IntelliJ presentation mode. It's PSVM and uh, let me copy the same method as, de as defined here in the code. Mark it as private static because we are using static void main and this is out. Let's take example the same example that we discussed in our approach video. Mark it as final again because the arguments passed to the methods should always be immutable. Now as we discussed, first of all, let's declare this TP array where we will be storing all those results and the further and the bottom of fashion from, from top, we will go to the bottom one and then we'll see this final value would be the answer. So if F is, uh, sorry, if N is five, number of steps is five, we see that there are total six. So is it like zero from zero to five is six total number of six. So that's why I will declare the DP array of n plus one, right? And now we already know the base condition that DP of n would be always one, and DP of n minus one would be always always one. So just fill in this our uh, base conditions or base values should be one and dp of n minus one is always it's also one now let's go back from the next index to to the zero uh, okay let's in i uh, is equal to n minus two and we go down to zeroth index and i minus minus and so here we are going from here dp3 to dp0 and here we found that dp3 is always dp n plus 1 and n plus 2. So dp of i is equal to i plus 2. Then we need to just return dp zero. Okay, so let's save our code. We declare the dp array with n plus one for extra condition, base condition, and then we uh, put as one for nth step and n minus one first step, and then we calculate from n minus two to zero. Just add the next two dps that we already calculated, and then return dp zero. Let me run this. So let me run this uh, solution here first and see whether, okay, the eight is matching with whatever we calculated here. So let's try for all the different scenarios and test cases in lead code. Just make some space here. Submit. Okay, so it has been very fast and uh, yeah, this is the final solution about it. Let's see what's the time and space complexity. So as we are storing a DP array of n plus one, so the space complexity would be O of n. And I think the time complexity because we are also like iterating it once just like the Fibonacci series sequence, it would be ON. So both time and space complexity would be ON. So we see that this climbing stairs is sort of a quite a, an easy problem as compared to the other problems that we solved before. But the way that we solved it, it is a very basics of uh, how we approach a dynamic problem. Because 
in each dp problem how uh, if we can divide this problem into sub problems and then reuse the value that we have already calculated this is this is where we we can always think about uh, having this uh, dp of course for that whether the problem could, could be solved by using dp or not so that's about this climbing stairs our fourth prop uh, i think fourth of the problem and in the next video we will solve another very famous problem called as the rod cutting problem but this we will we will solve not on leak code because i couldn't find a similar problem in leak code maybe it's there but i will be using coding ninjas platform so see you in the next video